Welcome to this week's update on the JWiki Group. I'm Bob Terrio, and I come to you from the unceded territories of the Qualicum and Comox First Nations, and we thank them for the use of their lands. Now, this last week we had a meeting about the JWiki, and one of the things that became apparent was there's so much information in the current wiki that people don't even know about. So this week I'm going to dive into a, some of that information, and you're going to find out a little bit more about that. In the future, we're going to be reorganizing the wiki so some of this information is more readily available. But for now, we thought it was important that you just get a sense of what's in there so that you can explore yourself. So here we are on the main page of the J Wiki, and you can see it's divided into sort of sections. Sections are very useful, but honestly, you rarely see the main page because there's actually not very many links to it. Um, so instead of what, what we've done to make it a little bit more accessible is down the side here on the sidebar, we've put some of the more useful links. I've gone through some of them before, but let's just take a look at some of the ones that I think people may be aware of, but they may not be aware of the depth of things. So starting off with Nuvok. This is Nuvok. You're probably familiar if you've been working around J with the primitives and the discussions. You can get the uh, monadic or the uh, dyadic versions, lots of information, but something that people don't know quite that much about, or maybe they don't explore quite as much, uh, these are all the control words, are these ancillary pages. The ancillary pages are really useful specifically, look at this one called Start Here. Click here and it gives you a great rundown on how to really use Nuvok. And there is a lot of information here, especially with monad and dyads, structure of primitive page, the ancillary pages, and then where you go beyond Nuvok. So really useful information there. If you haven't looked at how to use Nuvok before, go to Nuvok down to the ancillary pages and, uh, and take a look at that. Now, next thing is on beyond Nuvok, let's click on that. And that takes us to some of the things like the essays. Now, people often when they're giving links to J, often get linked to an essay, some really deep information, lots of code, lots of well thought out stuff, really useful. But if you just get a link to it, you don't really know where it sits or what else is there. So let's go back up to here. And if you want to find essays, you go to showcase. And under Showcase, there's Essays. So I click on Essays, and this is part of the problem that we're trying to overcome. Look at all these essays. I mean, it's excellent that there's that many of them. <laughs> but, you know, and the titles sometimes are useful. I mean, if you're, if you're looking at combinations, it'd be a good idea to look at, you know, combination index or combination sums or combinations, you know, tensors, there's stuff there. There's a lot of information there, but it's just so much of it. And, and we're going to be working on sort of reorganizing some of this to make it a little bit more accessible. Um, more about that ne probably next week. But right now, <laughs> this is where essays are. Take a look at these. They're just fascinating. I mean, there's great, very deep information here. If you want to go deeper into how to program in J, this is a master's level uh, exploration of J. Um, so let's go back again to, oh, well, I got to go to showcase here. So back to showcase here. The other thing to explore here is books. And specifically, I'm going to talk about two books. Um, some of these other ones that you might have heard of before are some of the labs and uh, explorations when you're learning. But Eugene McDonald had done a lot of essays for Vector. And in fact, he did 41 articles for Vector called At Play with Jay. And they're all really excellent really good way to look at a deeper look at some of the tricks that you can do with Jay and uh, just some explorations of some interesting ideas. Now, Fifty Shades of Jay was done by Norman Thompson. Norman's original essays, again, were done for Vector, and they were called Jay Oddings or Jottings. That was his pun. Um, but they all were put together into Fifty Shades of Jay and made into a book, or in this case, the wiki has a collection of wiki pages. And these are, I would say, probably more conceptual, more to think about um, sort of the background on how things are done. Whereas Eugene might take a specific problem and work it through, Norman is taking a slightly different, more comprehensive look at how to do some of this stuff. And they're really excellent. You click here, you can get access to it. Um, 
they're all the chapters, um, and he's got language philosophy chapters, aesthetics, all sorts of things that you may have wondered about with Jay. And uh, on the side here, this was all sort of compiled and, and brought up to date by the community. So if you see a green check, it means this person, Rick Sherlock in this case, has gone through it and made sure that it runs on the current versions of J. If you see a red check, um, it's possible that it's uh, not com entirely done. In this case, it looks like it needs a test. Um, but in any case, you can still look at it and there's still information there. And so that's 50 Shades of J and uh, At Play with J, both excellent resources. Finally, let's take a look back up here and I'm gonna to go to guides because a lot of times when you're working with J, you're working with frameworks, or you're working with interfaces, and you think, how does anybody keep any of this straight? Well, if you go to guides, again, it's a link on the sidebar. You can obviously have things for beginners here that's way, ways to get into J. The user interfaces, really useful information here depending on the user interfaces you're using. Um, frameworks, this is how the labs are put together. Uh, JD, which is the J database, gives you lots of information. If you're ever wondering about plot, this is a great place to find out more about plot or publish. And I haven't worked much with publish, but I guess there's an equal amount of information there about publish. Also technologies and in general, all these different, again, long list of things that you can find out more about running GA notebooks in Jupyter, things like this. If you don't know about this, go in, take a look at guide, especially if you're trying to find out about something and you just don't know really where to start. Sometimes it'll be sitting there in guide. With the new wiki, we will be taking uh, information like J602 that might be out of date and we'll be putting it into an archive. So it's still available, but it's not going to be maybe up as in the way as some of the other information is. So that's... Uh, Guides, Nuvok, and in Showcase, Essays and Books. And by all means, go and explore them. There are tons of information. There's so much in, in this wiki about J. Right now, it's not the easiest thing to find, but these are the places to explore. And as you get more comfortable with it, you may find other places that are really worth exploring in it. Um, I think that's about it this week. Until uh, next week, uh, enjoy your explorations with Jay and happy array programming.